so either yesterday or the day before I opened up my Etsy shop dashboard and there was this big ugly notice that said something along the lines of we're going to tell everybody that you, you know, process things on holidays now, unless you tell us not to. But if you want to, then you have to go and turn it off. So basically Etsy is opting people into this. Now you need to be aware of this if you ship things. If you're a digital shop, this isn't really going to affect you at all because it's a shipping thing. But I did go in, I turned everything off. And you know, you might read what it says and not be worried about it, but do I trust Etsy to actually do what they say as far as this goes? No, I do not. So I wanted to see if I could find this message. So I went to my vintage shop, which I have closed, but it's on vacation. I haven't deleted it completely. It's sitting there on vacation because I, I want to use it for stuff, you know, for experiments and this kind of thing. The message is not there, unfortunately, but I, I can go in and look at the shipping settings here. So if you come to your Etsy dashboard and this big message pops up, that's what it is. But if you don't see it, go into your settings and then your shipping settings. And this is what I'm talking about, all selected. Now, if you have not clicked on this yet, it will say new. I did click on it already to see what it says. So it doesn't say new, but see this says holidays, all selected. So basically, why they're doing this is Etsy has said, we want to decrease the shipping time by two days over the course of this year. We're going to reduce shipping times. Now, how the heck is Etsy going to do that? Because Etsy doesn't ship anything, right? The first thing they're going to do is give us data and say, people like it when things ship faster, which is true. You know, I, I will admit people like it when things ship faster, but the way that Etsy is doing this is basically by, I want to say inflating, but deflating the shipping times and the processing times by telling us that people want this faster. And then by making it look like things ship faster on paper. This is not good for customers because they're being told, and I've seen a lot of sellers, I've seen the same thing. A lot of sellers are saying that they'll go to print the shipping label and Etsy is giving them a message that says that this is going to be late. This thing is going to be late. And the, the shipping date isn't officially until the next day or the day after that. But Etsy wants people to think they're going to get their stuff really fast. And the way they do that is to take your processing time, add it to the shortest shipping time that you have available. And that's the beginning date of the, the, like the receiving, win like the delivery window, right? The longest time that you have available in shipping is going to be the end date plus your processing time. So Etsy knows they can't affect the post office estimated shipping times, the transit time, but they can affect our processing time by basically giving us the carrot first. And they have said this before, that when they want sellers to do something first, they give us the carrot, which would be to give us data. Customers like things to ship fast. You'll sell more stuff if you ship things faster, lower your processing time. You know, like the messages that show up. Change your processing times. You have it set from one to three days, but you ship everything in one day. So just make it one day. I'm like, no, I want the I want the cushion. Okay, thanks, Etsy. So that's the carrot. After the carrot comes the stick. And if you don't know this expression, the carrot and the stick is basically how you get a donkey to move. Okay, and it's an old expression. It has nothing to do with Etsy making anything up, but it's an old expression that says, if you want a donkey to move, first you dangle a carrot in front of it to get it to move in that direction. If that doesn't work, you take a stick and you whip the donkey on the butt and then it'll move. So what Etsy has said is that when they want sellers to do something, first they give us the carrot. And if we don't take the bait, then they give us the stick. All right. So basically what's going on right now is we're getting a, a little bit of the stick, I would say, because for a long time they've been saying, you know, customers want shorter shipping times and they've been giving us the messages about reducing our processing time and all that kind of stuff. That's kind of the carrot. But now we're getting the stick and that's where this is coming from. The other part of the stick is that when Etsy puts things in search results, it does, it is affected by, you know, how fast you process things. So things with shorter processing times have a better quality score or quality rating or whatever than things that take, have a long processing time. Now don't get mad. This is just how it is. I'm not happy about it. I'm not saying that you can't get mad. I'm saying that in order to make decisions, you need to have a clear mind. So don't go in this with, how dare they? Because, you know, many people would say that Etsy really has no right to tell us how fast we need to ship things and that we need to respond to messages in 24 hours. 
if they don't do that and if they don't have 24 hour support, why are we expected to for our customers? And if they don't have a human on the other end of their support, when you do manage to get through to somebody, then why would they expect us to do that? And if they can't return an email within 24 hours, then why would they expect us? Some people might say that. I don't know who, but it, this is the fact. Okay, so we need to just back away from that and think of this with a clear mind. So you need to make decisions for your own business. What I have done, I will share the screen again, what I have done for this specific situation, and I will do it in this shop. This is what I've done in my other shop. I'm gonna go into edit this schedule. And what happens here is Etsy has chosen, and Etsy will choose Sunday if you don't change this. I've changed this already. Um, and I don't, like I said, this shop isn't open, but this basically was a mirror of my actually active shop, okay? I'm just gonna click this box and erase everything. Okay, now it says up at the top here, if a ship by date falls on a day where post offices are usually closed, i.e. Sundays or postal holidays, we'll move it to the next business day for you. So the concern that they're going to say the ship by date is on a holiday or on a Sunday might not be something to worry about. But again, do I trust Etsy to figure that out correctly? No, I do not. Because they've thrown all of this stuff to bots the bots make a lot of mistakes. They've been making a lot of mistakes in the last couple of weeks. So just to be on the safe side, I am going to undo all of this. And then I'm going to click update. And now it says, I don't process orders on any holidays. Now, if I do, that's good because then customers will just get their stuff faster. But now I'm not required to. And this will not affect my processing times. Etsy's not going to be happy with this though. And this is the thing. Etsy wants you to have shorter processing times and they want to include those, those vacations in those holidays, because if, you know, I, I fill things on holidays. Yeah. I'll, I'll fill orders. I'll print the labels out the next day or whatever, but sometimes I don't want to, and sometimes I don't need to do that. And if they're saying that the shipping date is going to fall on the holiday, they'll move it one day. That doesn't mean that they're going to give you an extra day every single time. So I do want that extra day because I don't know what I'm going to be doing. And I'd like to give myself a cushion in case something comes up. What if I just decide to take a break and not fill orders that day? Cause it is a postal holiday and I don't have to, I'd like to be able to do that without Etsy breathing down my neck with the stick going work, work, work. Other people might say, why does Etsy expect us to fill orders when I don't know if they're at work on Christmas day? I don't know if they're at work on New Year's Day. Are they in the office? If they're in the office, why do they expect us to be in the office? Some people might say that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, you have to decide for yourself what you want to do. But keep in mind that as they're making these things more visible to us, and they have said that in 2024, as the year goes on, they're going to make things more visible to sellers about how our items actually rank in search, okay? So if you do check all of those boxes, it might give you a little tiny point towards your search rank. That's a possibility. And it's it's also a possibility that if you want to go in in the months leading up to the holidays, shopping season, and just turn all those back on, then it'll work. You don't need to do that all year necessarily. But you know, you need to decide for yourself I know that in the Etsy algorithm, the king of everything is sales. So I guarantee you that if you have a seller who is selling things consistently and then somebody else who has a similar product and is not selling them consistently, but they have all the holidays checked, Etsy isn't going to care. They're going to show the ones that are selling consistently. So I think that this is a piece of, of the ranking puzzle. It's not going to be the huge thing, but I would not be surprised that as they do make things more visible and more transparent, as they've said they're going to be doing, as far as how ranking is done, that this is a piece of it. So you need to, like I said, decide for yourself, use some critical thinking on your end. And is this something that's important to your shop? Do you think this is going to help? If you, if you really don't care about that so much and you really do want to have that cushion, then do what I did and turn them all off. You might want to turn some of them off and lead some of them on, up to you. But that's that's what I think about this. I think this is part of the stick. And I think that as they reveal more things about how listings are ranked, processing time is going to be a part of it. And this was probably going to play into that because it does affect your processing time. All right. So if you have any questions, leave them, give this video a thumbs up. I will talk to you later and, uh, you know, go turn those holidays off. Bye.